Hey, my name is Sela, and today we're starting out a brand new series on the Oceanic server. I hope you enjoy it. I'm about to jump onto one of Iskal 85's Patreon servers. I have no idea what to expect or if it's even going to work. In theory, I went through the automated whitelisting process by joining this whitelisting server. Let's go and see what happens. And here we go, and... Well, that's... That's really uh, anticlimactic. Okay, let me do some troubleshooting and I'll connect back up with you later. Well, I found a pretty good explanation for why I couldn't connect to the server. Um, according to Discord, the server has restarted or stopped and started. Now that the server is up and running again, or ho ideally, hopefully up and running again, I'm hoping this will work better this time and... Yes! Okay, do I want in? Yeah, sure. And okay, that work. Uh, okay, I don't know what's going on. So there's a cat here. Don't know if this somebody somebody's cat. There's an escalium tree, of course, and I can't access this chest. Apparently, little escalium, little river thingy. Uh, let's go wander around here. No idea what it's supposed to be doing. Hello, and welcome to the server. If you don't know where to settle, there's a public base that helps new members gain items they may need. Great for a temp base till you find your own home. Go through the portal and then to the portal on the left on the purple. Uh, okay. Oh, hello, turtle. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> neat, but almost empty. Somebody could restart. But it's super nice of them to give people uh, starting materials. Ooh, I think this is my very first time using an ender chest. Of course it's empty. But, um... Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. <laughs> As I suspected, the uh, iron farm is not working. That says, uh, hey, as of right now, you know, blah, 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 because of uh, 114 is broken. So oh, this is my very first mystery. I have uh, no idea what this contraption is about. Like, why did somebody surround a bed in these uh, little trap doors? Initially, I just thought it was maybe a fancy, like, one of those, like, little collapsible tables you could find in a tiny home or something, but uh, why would there be a bed in this? Or is this supposed to be a tiny home? I don't know. Uh, please let me know if you know what's up. I- I- I died. Uh, I- I was an idiot. <laughs> I should have at least recorded my first death, but, like, why? I was just being a, an absolute idiot. Ugh. For whatever reason, I didn't pay attention to this pretty dome earlier. Um, but yeah. Now at least I don't have to be all stressed out about preventing my very first death, because the, my first death has already happened, and I can show you exactly where it happened. I was just wandering around here, and I fell down into this hole because I got a bit too curious about uh, what was going on here. Begin! Oh gosh. I almost fell into it again. Something else just happened in real life that I wish I could share with you, and that is that I uh, went to the bathroom, like cats usually do. Both of our kittens followed me into the bathroom, and then uh, one of them was super enthusiastic, and uh, after I lifted the toilet lid, she was just like, "Wee!" ran into the bathroom, and jumped into the toilet. And uh, yeah, I, I was laughing pretty hard when I saw that. Uh, she, she was not happy at all. Like, not at all. But it was so funny. Take a boat and find your future base, or another either is good. Okay, and there's a bed. No, there's no bed. And there's some torches, that's nice. And boats. Ah. Oh. oh, that's neat. Can I... Oh, that's where the boats come from. Come from here. Putting the boat back. 
gonna wander in here and see what that happens. Boom. What did I get? Oh, nice. So I got a sword, pickaxe, and a nice set of armor. I think this might be the first time ever that I've worn iron armor in Minecraft. Maybe I shouldn't admit that, but yeah, that's the state of the world. The netherrack is not chicken. I hope everybody knows this. So I officially don't have any food. I need to change that pretty soon. Um, I'm gonna skip the totem of undying thing and uh, yeah, there's no arrows. So I guess I still need shovel and that. So I guess there's no other axe. There. Grabbing an axe. Okay. And I think I need to get some food pretty soon. So I'm gonna head over. I'm gonna grab. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab some torches for good measure. Do I want to eat bed? There's no beds available anyway. So yeah, so let's go into the Nether and see what people have built there. Oh. Happy one year anniversary. What? Oh, I guess it's somebody with an elytra flying through. This is pretty huge. Oh, that's nice. I like it. I like this. This is pretty. And now I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Some signage would be nice. Maybe I should take some notes and uh, develop signage in the future that says uh, roughly where people should go. Yeah, so it looks like at this point I totally forgot about the signs I read on the spawn island earlier. Whoops. So this is spawn islands. Obviously I can't get up there. Why are there Hermitcraft player heads in here? Um, please let me know. Anyway, I think I'm in dire need of food. I'm just randomly picking one of the hallways since I literally don't know where I'm supposed to go and apparently there's a blaze processor over there, but uh, I'll just continue to go down here and I hope I don't die or whatever from hunger. So my priority right now is to get food and I'm far away from food sources so this is not good. I should probably get out at the very next nether portal I see. This thing? Okay, let's hope I don't die. Just want to get out of here. I just want to get out. Please let me. Just want to get out. Please. I have no idea what this is. And okay, I'm somewhere. I'm somewhere. I have no idea where I am. I'm somewhere with XP apparently. Are there any animals? Yes, there's a cow. Some cows. Okay, need to kill them. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna eat some raw meat. Okay, so now I'm at least not starving, so that's a good start. I should probably look at the map that's available online and uh, have some sort of plan for where I want to go because right now I, I don't have a plan and the longer I wander around, the more and the faster I'll get lost. No, oh. I uh, randomly found this by chance. Like, there's no way I would have found this um, on purpose, so... Let me go down this area and, uh, wah! Okay, apparently this is not where you walk. Where do I walk? Here? Okay. Okay. I really wish there were more signage here. I can't figure out where anything is. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really confused, but I'm assuming this is how you get to the shopping area. So this looks nice and promising, so let me read this book for a moment. Uh, this book contains all the complete log of all the shops categorized and numbered for easier access. If you build a new shop, please do fill it into this book. Um, I don't understand. So this is kind of an index of sorts. How do I... I don't even know how to jump ahead. Um, ba -ba -ba. There's a bunch of instructions. I... yeah, I can't... right now I can't be bothered to read this. 
Oh, so you're supposed to go along with the numbers here? Anyway, given how confused I am about... Okay. I have no clue what's going on. I guess I'll learn over time. Whoa! For whatever reason, I thought that this was glass. But it's obviously not. Okay. So Santa Claus is back here for some reason? Oh, this is pretty. So is this essentially a different kind of ball? Or... Where different people sell different kinds of things? Townie... Map? Oh, it's a treasure map. I guess once I become more familiar with everything that's going on on the server, I'll be way less confused, but... Oh, hello, huh? traitor dude. Since I have absolutely no emeralds, uh, everything you have is useless. Anyway, I think I don't really have a use for the shop at the moment since I have absolutely nothing to trade with apart from some random things. I'm going to um, disconnect from the server, look at the map for a little bit, and then develop a plan for what I want to do because right now I'm just aimlessly wandering around. I find out through reading through a bunch of stuff on Discord that there also is a starting town thing somewhere. At least I think I'm heading in the right direction, pretty sure. Should be going north. Yeah. Um, how much further do I have to go? Actually, I've probably run past it. Big sigh, I finally found Spawn Town. I apparently didn't need to go into any of these hallways. I was, yeah. It was right here all along and I just didn't notice it. So onward and upward. Let's see where this takes me. And, and it's dark, and I'm not a particularly big fan of the fact that it's dark. There's a city planning project. Not entirely sure what this stuff means, but um... Mm. What is this? Mailbox room, I guess? Like, what do people have in their mailboxes? Well, that's adorable. I don't know how many of these are actually still in use. Are there more up here? No. I'm continuing to wander around. Some nice stuff to look at. I'm not convinced that this area is mob proof and nobody seems to be sleeping. Yeah, I do not want to be over here. Bad idea. Bad idea. So the general vibe I'm getting for the spawn town is that nobody's using it. I, I'm not getting the impression that this is a very live, lively place. I'm very glad the sun's going up. Very glad indeed. Yay, I have enough wool for a bed, so that's good news. Finally found a kind of important location on the server, and that is the library. Atlanta City Library. And um, I think there's some special things you can get here. I'm assuming this is where you get a special armor stand book. Um, so to use, throw a regular book atop the enchanting table, warning anything else will be lost. You somehow get a armor stand ma manipulation book out of it. So that'll be interesting to figure out later. And then there's a hermit heads trading thing. Not a general purpose tr head trading spot. But uh, good to know that this exists. And then... What else is this? What is this? Oh. Okay. More block. Specialized trader. For some special- okay, so that's how you can get bricks and things. And then... Concrete trader. I have no idea how I get these gems. No idea. I haven't figured that out yet. Also, I'm about to starve. At some point, I'll have to figure out how to get better food, but right now that's, you know, killing uh, animals on the go is still good enough for me right this second. Natural. Okay. Okay, clay. Nether. Oh, come on. Okay, there's no scrolling here. Or, ooh, you can get diamond. 
I have no idea how hard it is to get these special gems, so I don't know uh, if the trades are good value or poor bad value, but maybe it's just supposed to be an emergency thing? Gem, gem collector. And then this is... A wood trader. And a redstone trader. And then... Wander over here, and then we have stones. I don't know why anybody would trade anything for cobblestone. Um. Okay. I think. No! 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 Okay, that was. I guess I saved some time there, but that was my second time tonight falling from uh, a height that I shouldn't be dropping from. Okay, so I think my next task is figuring out where I want to set up my base and uh, getting that process started. And I think... Is this the way out? Um, maybe not. Free grub. Ooh, thank you very much. Yes. I have no idea where this is coming from, but uh, definitely thankful for it. So, uh, I totally found this portal by accident. It wasn't advertised anywhere or anything. Um, do you remember the signs that we read at spawn at the beginning of this episode? Um, yeah, I most definitely had forgotten about those at this point. And, uh, so it's a public base for new members, and I wish it had been advertised somewhere because, uh, I might, might actually end up taking advantage of this. I don't know yet, but, uh, there is a possibility that I will. So, definitely a super adorable place. I'm not sure. Mob farm ahead. What is this? Um. Other stuff here. Okay. But what I'm more interested in is what's inside of this uh, humble abode. So, iron golem, apparently. So, you're definitely not lonely. And what is this? These are Muse villagers, do not touch. Okay, this probably explains why there's an iron golem here. Um, so bedrooms down the stairs, a mining area as well, and just a really adorable looking house. And so you could go down here. Do, 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 do. What I thought. So down here, there's a uh, grab a sign and put it beside a door to claim a room. So basically, this is kind of a boarding house. Somebody uh, claimed it, and you can just come in here, and uh, from what I can tell, you can make yourself at home, at least for a little bit. This person has decked out their house a little bit. Or, I can't really call it a house, it's more like a room. Auto sugar cane and bamboo. A little bit of stuff in there. Oh, a clock, that's nice. So then, uh, jelly farm mines, potato farm, and small auto sorter. So the right goes down and left goes up, which sounds about right. And I guess this is where anybody playing Minecraft would uh, start questioning their life choices in case they are actually being lured into a trap, but looks good. I feel like somebody was trolling here. It's definitely not going down here. What is it? This looks like kind of an underground survival bunkery thing. There will be slimes. This is a slime chunked area. If you wish to expand the sorting system, you're more than welcome to. Um, please make sure you are lighting the area around you. We want this place to be mob free. Uh, more than welcome to build down here. Keep it tasteful, please. Rules for bottom access. Oh, I guess I should have read these from left to right. Oh well, moving on. Auto sorter, basic blocks to be sorted only. If there is any issues, contact, uh, yeah, you on uh, Discord. Not sure what is being sorted into what, but I guess I'll find out. AFK room for Shelly farm? Like, what does Shelly farm mean? Belly of what? Moving on. Looks like anybody can use this stuff, so putting. Items in the auto sorter means all players can use them. If you don't want someone to use your blocks, put them in your room. In the near future, if people want, I'm more than happy to make separate spaces for storage. What else is in here? 
Whoa, there's actual lapis. Really? There's... Okay, this is neat. There's a whole bunch of, like, resources that I might really want. Okay, so this is neat. And then Mr. Glass. Nope. Is there anything interesting off to this side? Okay, so this is just where people have been doing strip mining and stuff. What is this? Fuel chambers. Fuel chamber for what? Simple smelter. Ah, this is uh, for leftover items in the sorter. So uh, this is, I guess, the random crap chest. Oh, there's more potatoes here. Ah. I think I've decided that I do want to stay here for a while. Like, I grabbed a couple things out of the uh, random sorting item chest thingy downstairs. I'm trying to decide which room I want. I kind of feel like this one maybe has my name on it. Or not yet, but... Yeah, this one's mine. Ah, uh, that's not not super pretty, but pretty enough. I'm going to shut this. And I guess this is my very first home sweet home. Well, and I was even able to sleep here, so this is good. I think I still have some more exploring to do, and one of those future explorations will help me figure out where I want to build my base, because as far as I'm aware, there's a community build of some sort going on, like has themes similar to um, Hermacraft stuff. So, and I don't see why I couldn't just straight up build my base there. Huh. Just came across this. Seems like a good thing to check out. I don't know if this is a public thing. Maybe it's a public guardian farm. If so, that would be kind of neat. Cause then I could get a whole bunch of... <sighs> I need a key. I have no idea what kind of key I need. Okay, goodbye. Ooh, is this the portal for the community area? Maybe? Community build area, yes. And it's definitely not cast proof, but yay, I found it. Okay. This is really pretty, by the way. I like it. And let's see where this takes me. What the heck is subspace bubble? Welcome to the community build area. Info about the districts can be found pinned in Oceanic General. And uh, this is a map of the districts that I found on Discord. If you look at the top left, there's an underwater town area. Then next to it, there's steampunk. And below that, there's the portal and info area. And then there's also a magic slash medieval area, which I'm assuming is the equivalent to Hermitcraft's fantasy district. And there's a swamp and sea town. And below that, there's a town city. And then the pink area is an anything go zone. Let's take a look at this and uh, see if this is anything I would want to be involved in. And this is fancy looking. Aw, oh, this is wonderful. You chicken need to die. Ah, magic. Now I can get down. A hidey hole, so basically hole in the wall place. Path through the steampunk build area. Okay. And so I think this is medieval, right? This little villagey area looks really impressive on the uh, larger map too. It just looks like somebody was really busy and built stuff up. This path to the town build area. Oh my gosh, that's a tall building. I'm wondering if it's just an empty shell or if it actually is a- whoa! Okay, there's the stairs. Makes me feel better. Going to sleep? Yay. And I fell off the bed apparently. <laughs> It's raining. Okay, what is this? Success Inc. Skyscraper. What's up? All the way up. <laughs> Part of the way up. Far enough to kill me. And I really hope this elevator doesn't end up killing me because there's no air bubble. There we go. There's like this really interesting pink thing in the distance somewhere. Do, 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 do. Ah! For whatever reason, there's a lot of pillagers in this area. 
Oh gosh, that sounded like- oh, there's more than one. There's one up there too. And another one. Okay, run. Run, run, run. Take a detour. I do not want to fight those guys. The guys following me. Run. Run, run. I'm hoping I'm safe. Aww. This looks cute. I have no idea whose house I'm uh, crashing in. Painting. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be a uh, hobbit hole kind of thing? Maybe? It's red underscore Awa's hobbit hole on the hill. So, oh, I think this little crystal thingy might have been incredibly anticlimactic. Now I know what the crystal was. I mean, good job from making something that I would see from ways off. Oh, he's right there. Hope he doesn't follow me. Uh oh. More sounds I don't like. More sounds I don't like. More sounds I don't like. I don't really want to find out where they are, but I kind of need to know where they are. Okay, they're over there. Hello? Where's the door? Did I just, like, jump in here? Okay. But it looks cool. And you get a nice view of everything. I like it. And so that's the hobbit hole area, I guess. Crystal was somewhere right there. And there's the village. And then the big skyscraper of city build is over there. Oh no, this is bad. I'm really, really sorry, starter house people, but uh, a creeper exploded. I'm gonna pick this stuff up. I'm so sorry. I guess I have footage of what this used to look like, so I guess I can try to fix it. I finally finished rebuilding this section. Um, I ended up hunting down some clay so I could make a new clay pot. The rest of the stuff was pretty straightforward, material-wise. I did end up going to the nether to get some glowstone just to make this a little bit more spawn-proof. And down here, I've uh, set myself up a little bit more nicely. I've uh, made it a bit more cozy. I also um, made the room a bit bigger, added some lanterns. Um, I might end up adding a couple more chests. For right now, I've decided that uh, to give myself some more time to familiarize myself with the community and figure out where I want to build and why, I'll just work on improving this uh, community starter base. Yeah, I feel like the starter base has helped me a lot just on day one, and I'd like to pay that forward. And so there's a couple things I feel like I would have liked to have had here in this little starter base that I didn't have. Things here and there that could be slightly better. I'm going to give myself some time to figure out how the server works and where I want to build and what I want to do next. That's that's my plan for right now. Hey, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode a lot. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you next time.